What is wrong with you? Mama Jordi, I help My heart. Pains over my body. Your heart used to pain you. Yeah, mm. no, Let's save your life. Thank you, Jesus. Okay. Put your hand there. Put your hand there. Mm. I'll kill her. Why do you want to kill her? Why you want to kill her? She has done nothing wrong to me. Just that I hate her. I'll kill her. You hate her? What kind of case is that? What's your Okuno? Who are you? Why no? I'm the sister. You want to kill your sister? What's your Okuno? I have destroyed her life. She used to cry. Oh. Sleepless nights. Are you planning to kill her? When did you plan to kill her? I'm not to I wanted to kill her this Easter. This Easter, this Easter, yeah, yeah, yeah. We are, yes, this Easter. I wanted to kill her so that I can celebrate the Easter with her. Uh, this pastor, you, you have really disturbed me. This pastor, now she say, yeah, you have inspired. Um, that's what it carry a load for no man now. Yes, yes, now she say, it's over. Um, that's what it is. I'm sure to say, you said so many things here today. What can somebody bring this here? Can you remember the things you say? You can't remember. <laughs> you say you are the one destroying her. You say, oh, no, say you will kill her by Easter. Was Easter, Easter. Yeah, be, you want to kill her? Who is our cousin? Who is our cousin? My mother's sister, daughter. Is she a good person? Mm -hmm. Yes, very good. <laughs> I told you people, you don't know your problem. You are free. Okay. You are free. You have, you are free. You have so much challenge. That's why people are dying everywhere. Some of these things are not normal. Open your mouth. Put it on your stomach. Without touching you now, you see that you'll be healed. If I can touch you, you are the one healing yourself. Okay. Remove it. Do this. Watch me. Come again. That's the end of it. Okay. Press your stomach very hard. Don't be afraid. How do you feel? Do you feel any pain? No. No pain? No. Even small? No. It's not there? Yeah. All right. Friends that doesn't like school. I'm from school. I want to bring I'm from school. Do you understand it? Yeah. Eh? Yeah. When you are going to school, you have a friend that doesn't like school. Now I'm not school. Yeah. No. They don't like going to school. You too. You dislike school. You school. school. You it. It's not only money issue. You too didn't want to go to school at that point. Is it true? Yes. Uh huh. Be careful with friends. It doesn't mean that you cannot succeed. But friends, okay? Okay. God bless you. you not the cost. This the family. If you can follow Christ, say everything. Obedi is what you are doing. Come and come and say. One, one. Father, in the name of Jesus. Oh yes, you did. Bless the Lord. Your destiny is changing here. Fire all over body. Leave me alone. You don't know who I am. Come and ask about me. You are powerful. Who are to me? Who are to me? Do you know who I am? Go and ask her. Go and ask her. Ask her. Everybody fears me where I'm living. Everybody fears you. I'm the only one who cannot fear you. Do you know what I've done to her father? Ask her. You have destroyed everything. What say you be your Oh yes, this lady have destroyed her. This lady. I, at this time, she was supposed to have been enjoying herself. I sent for her in spirit. In the spirit. Yes. And the one that meet this lady will love the lady, but I'll make sure I destroy that relationship. At least Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost. Yes. You see her. Yes, Jesus. From the wicked one, can you see? Yes, you. Yes, you. And just after that, but for the police, say, "Hey, fuck away. You are free. We want to watch it. On your phone, over. We be up and we here. I remember the thing you said here today. Okay, okay, is here today.
You didn't say anything. You say so many things. You say you are the one who wants to destroy this man. And she's supposed to have plenty money. You don't want her to have anything. So you want her to suffer. So it's not you. It's spirit. Okay. You can't remember the things you said, but you are free. Things will change. You are not married because of that spirit. Follow Jesus Christ. Are you hearing me? I don't like sickness. Sickness is my enemy. So this one is sickness. Chest pain. Uh, God will remove it immediately. It's one more pain again. Mm, it's affecting you. You can't go to work. Satan is a liar. Give me water. You can't walk faster. When you are moving, you can't walk faster. Right? Okay. Open your mouth. You are too young to explain this. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Okay. Your hand. Put it on your stomach. Like, yeah. Just like that. One in your heart. Just be quiet. No. Remove your hand. Take a deep breath. Don't be afraid. Don't think about it. Do this. Because I know you couldn't live. Do this. Do this. Do this. Twist your stomach. Twist your stomach. Press your stomach and your chest. Do you feel pain? No. Eh? No. No pain. No pain. Are you sure? Yes. Press it well. No pain. No pain. No pain at all. No. Even small. It's not there. Clap for Jesus. Okay. Bless. Okay. Bless. Kai. In the name of Jesus. Oh, yes, you Christ. Yes. Out. Yes. 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 Now, she say, let her go. And I'm Jesus. And we issue the moon. I call you by your name. Leave your hand. You are out. It's a beast. You are out. Mm. Okay. That is over. You okay now? What or what? A whole lot of challenge. This is coming from how we place. Like family thing. But don't worry about it. As well as come away. I think. But why don't you put away? I'm hearing good news. But yes, and pass it. But why? Did that pen for 50 years? Where do you have pen? I told me from her saying I am a menace. Your waist. I waste down, yes. Give me that one. Open that. If I am walking, I I I, I feel much. It's affliction. Okay, you're free. I must let you have your hand like this. Okay. Put your waist. What you say? Do this. Exercise. What are you feeling? Bend again. Bend again. Bend again. Stop. How do you feel now? What you say? You, are you okay now? Pacha. You feel okay. Pacha. You feel okay. Pacha. The pain is gone. Yeah, Jesus you are Follow Jesus Christ. 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 Sometimes you like God. Open your mouth. Sometimes you turn and ask. Obemu ye buna wasa chong. Follow well. You need to read. It's true, prophet. You are laughing. Mm. Follow him well, okay? God bless you. Thank you. Open your mouth. Father, I command her to cease. Okay. Open the small. Okay. Okay. Which hand depending you? Which hand depending you? Which hand depending Which hand depending you? Here. And the nature of your work to be affecting your job, right? Father, in the name of Jesus, thank you, Lord. Be free now from the pain, from the sickness. Out, Jesus. Lift that hand, lift it. I know, Peter. Don't be afraid, Peter. Peter, come We fell down. What you have to? We fell down from some. From ceiling, bam. Mm -hmm. Okay, I see. All right, don't worry. Okay, don't worry. Oh, Jesus, in the name of Jesus. Down again. Go up again. Down. Up. Down. Up. Clap for Jesus. I feel that. You see what happened? Now? See the pain when he tried first. You see what Jesus is doing now. You couldn't leave it like this before. Yes. Are you sure? Do it now. Look at. Do this. Two of them at once. 
Jesus. Okay. You are free. God said to me, the headache has stopped. Is it true? Yes. Has it stopped? Yeah. All right. Then go. Welcome to Knowledge is Power. I want to wish you Happy Easter. And you know the significance of Easter season. You know what Easter stands for. It is the time Jesus Christ paid the ultimate price. He died for you and I. Over 2,000 years ago, Jesus came to this world to save our soul from the hand of the devil. To redeem our lives from destruction and today we are redeemed through the death burial and resurrection of jesus we are saved through his death burial and resurrection that is what easter is all about and a lot of people are celebrating easter without knowing what they are celebrating or why they must celebrate it even though it was the time that jesus was humiliated tortured killed for our sake we see it as a thing of joy we see it as a blessing to us because if he didn't die we would have been redeemed from the curse of the law if he didn't die we would have been saved if he didn't die there would have been an opportunity for us to go to heaven there would have been hope at all but we thank god that he sent jesus to give his life for us and through his death on the cross we are saved from the bondage of the enemy we are restored back to whom god created us to be and he brought us back to god that is a wonderful thing i know that this easter period will bring you closer to jesus that is the only thing you can gain from celebrating easter you come closer to christ you know him better you serve him better you love him more that is all you should be doing right now it's not only the time to eat drink and make merry it's also the time to reflect on what jesus christ did for you it's time to reflect on what he did for your sake what he went through the punishment that was given to him the torture and suffering he passed through for your sake you should reflect and understand why you should come closer to Jesus Christ and if you don't have him in your life this is the time to receive Christ as your Lord and your personal Savior and if you have received him and you know you are not following him in spirit and in truth it is time for you to rededicate yourself back to him it's time to reconnect back to your Savior and your Lord Jesus today I want to deliver a short message to you this short message is all about what a lot of people have not come to realize in life and they keep wasting their time using their strength and their energy they want to achieve something that is difficult to have you see the title of this message is you don't need family deliverance you need a change of dna you don't need family deliverance that is not what you need stop asking for family deliverance you need a change of dna what it means is that you need to be born again when you become born again and you are following jesus in spirit and in truth and you are maintaining your new nature with the word of God and love for God and the kingdom of God your DNA will change and when your DNA change you are set free from the curse of the law that's what a lot of people don't understand you know they believe that you have to come to their family and begin to shout and scream and pray and begin to approve some things I mean no begin to look for where charms have been buried in that family as far as I'm concerned that is not biblical we didn't hear that Jesus Christ was moving from one house to another looking for charm to remove from the family no no. if it's a family that worship idol you can see shrine i'm called to do things like that that's part of my ministry you know destroying shrine destroy all these man-made god you know i destroy these things shrine or whatever you are serving small soul god you are serving if you allow me i will destroy them burn them that's all because i have the anointing to do that job all right i have the angels that move me with me to do those things all right so if you need me to come to your community your um, family where there is shrine that somebody is worshiping or you don't want to worship these things again i'll come and chase out the demons in that place destroy everything because i've been given the power to do that but to go to a family and you begin to look for where someone has planned charm you begin to dig the ground you are digging the ground looking for charm that kind of thing is not in the bible jesus didn't do that the bible told us that it came to a point when people were bringing 
all the things they are worshipping for Christ to destroy it. Apostle Paul destroyed a lot of shrine and the man-made doors. He destroyed them. People said, we are tired of serving this thing. Please, man of God, come and save us from this idol that we have been worshipping for a long time. Come and destroy this tree we are worshipping. Come and destroy this man-made God we are serving. And he was destroying it. The apostles in the Bible, they destroyed those things. Some of them were invited and they come and destroy those things. You know, people also carry those things to them and they destroy it. That was part of Jesus' ministry and I am doing that. A lot of people have brought chant to me and whatever they are worshipping, I destroy it. And if you invite me to your community or your family, I don't need to charge you money, pay this, pay this. That is not scriptural before I can do that. I'm doing the work of God. If God says I should go, why not? I'll come to your house, remove all these things, and encourage your community or your family to accept Jesus Christ. That is what I'll do. But not coming to your family to tell you somebody bury something here, somebody bury something, and give me shovel. I want to dig. Jesus Christ did not dig anything out. You don't dig anything. One way from my mouth is enough to make that charm useless. That's all. If there's a charm, bury your family. I don't even need to come there. I'll just release the word. The word of God. I will release God's word to go and they make it powerless. Where is at the very side of the ground? It will remain inside the ground, but it will have no effect on the family anymore. It will become useless inside the ground. So coming to family is to clap hand, let us deliver the whole family. Where do you get this thing from? Where do you get it from? It doesn't make sense. Because when you try these things, it doesn't work. A lot of family deliverance they are doing. Go and check. Today, family deliverance. Some people, they conduct family deliverance every Christmas. Their problems still remain. In fact, the case is becoming worse. Because it doesn't solve problems. It doesn't stop that challenge in the family. Anyone who is tired of Satan must run to Christ. He said, come unto me, O ye that are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Come unto me. He says, seek, you will find. Knock, the door shall be opened unto you. Ask, and you shall receive. So what are you asking for today? What do you seek? Have you knocked on the door for Christ to open? And he refused that he will open. Now, he will open the door for you. That is what people don't want to do. There is no shortcut in life. You must do what is expected of you for you to experience a change in your life and your destiny. That inherited curse, that bloodline or whatever that is affecting the family, you can be free from it by accepting Jesus so that your DNA will change. Because when you have the same DNA with your family members, whatever happens to them will happen to you. If there is inherited bondage, because you have the same DNA, you are from that family, it will affect everybody. But once you begin to follow Christ, there will be a change of destiny. Let me read Galatians 4 verse 19 to 20. Look at what Apostle Paul says here. He says, my little children for whom I labor in birth again until Christ is formed in you. Until Christ is formed in you. A lot of people are going to church. But Christ has not been formed in them. They keep going to church and deceive themselves. Christ has not been formed in you. Until Christ is formed in you. You are not a child of God. You are not a born again. Look at verse 20. He said, I would like to be present with you now and to change my tone. For I have doubts about you. You see? I would like to be present with you now and to change my tone. The way I speak, I wish I would change you know, my language about you. So for I have doubts about you. Because I'm not sure that you are a child of God. I'm not sure that you are following Jesus in spirit and in truth. I'm not sure that you are willing to follow Christ. I have doubt about you. I'm not convinced about your commitments in your relationship with God. I'm not convinced whether you love God or not. I, I'm not convinced because of your character. The way you talk, the way you behave, the things that matter to you, the things that get your attention, the things you cherish most, the things that are important to you, what you always talk about shows where your heart is. You say, I have doubt about you. I'm not sure that you are born again. I'm not sure that you will remain in Christ. I'm not sure you will continue with him because of the way you are behaving. One leg is inside church, one is outside. Some people, one leg is inside the kingdom of God, one is inside the kingdom of Satan. So God is drawing them, Satan is drawing them at the same time. So you don't know who they are following, whether it's Satan or God. And that's why they keep having problems upon problems. The sense of the ancestors 
say affect them inherited bondage family problems say wear them down they are still bondage because they don't want to accept christ they go to church all right they call the name of god they read the bible and put scriptures but inside them they don't love god jesus christ said i know you that you don't have the love of christ he said i know you that's what jesus said he said i know you that you don't have the love of god in you i know you <laughs> i know that that is your problem that you don't love god you go to church you're a church leader you call yourself a pastor you call yourself a bishop apostle evangelist prophet but you don't love christ you don't because when you see a lover of god and a, a born again christian there are some things you will easily find in them if you are spiritual you will know that this one is a born again let me read galatians 3 verse 29 and if you are christ then you are abraham's seed and as according to the promise you see if you are in christ so when you become a born again you have become abraham's seed abraham's seed can never be in bondage it's impossible the seed of abraham cannot be oppressed the seed of abraham cannot fail in life the seed of abraham can never be useless abraham's seed can be stranded listen to me you see your problem you know your problem you want to please the world and displease god that's why you're suffering you can see you are suffering because you don't want to follow the leading of god when you become a born again god will start leading you and when god is leading you you don't miss your way impossible when god is the one driving the car you can't record accidents it's impossible god is driving your vehicle for you and you will die in motor accident or you involve in motor it's impossible can't it doesn't make sense it doesn't make sense you don't want your problem and your challenges to end jesus is the one who will end it there is nobody who will stop that problem except christ there's no one who will solve that problem you have today except jesus there's no one who can hear you of that sickness except christ no one can answer those questions you've been answering for a long time except christ no one can take care of you better than christ no one can love you more than christ listen to me all these people that you surround yourself with they are deceiving you in second Corinthians chapter 5 verse 17 it says if any man is in christ he is a new creation all things has passed away and behold all things has become new if anyone is in christ he is a new creation he has become a new creation the one who is in christ has become a new creation all things has passed away and behold all things has become new so receiving christ confessing him as your lord is not enough i know that according to the bible when you read the book of Romans 10 verse 9 to 10 it talks about you confessing christ and you will be saved i know that scripture but i want you to know that it doesn't make you born again because one can be saved today and tomorrow he will lose that salvation you see so you have to compare scripture with scripture when you read the book of john chapter 3 verse 3 it says unless one is born again he can never see the kingdom of god he said that which is born of flesh is flesh and that which is born of the spirit a spirit you see unless one is born again he will not see the kingdom of god so if you're not born again you will not see the kingdom you compare scripture with scripture and second corinthians 5 17 says if anyone is in christ so you must be in christ confessing him doesn't make you the in christ you must become the in him the in christ if anyone is in christ inside christ you start living inside christ if anyone is in you don't become a new creation until you are inside christ how do you know those who are inside christ number one there are places they cannot go number two there are people they cannot move with okay number three there are things they cannot say with their mouth because we have our own language in our kingdom so when you don't belong to our kingdom we know when you speak we know that you don't belong to our kingdom you're not part of us we have common language the bible says let the weak say i'm strong and let the poor say i'm rich that's an example of our language we don't speak defeat we are more than conquerors we are always victorious we don't lose battle 
we keep winning every day we have winning mentality we have success mentality we don't have failure mentality we don't speak death we speak life we have common language so if you don't belong there you can't speak like us and these are the things that changes your dna when your language start changing your mentality the bible says renew your mind renew your mind you must be renewed with the word of god so that you think like god you speak like god you behave like god you reason like god you understand things like god <laughs> then we you know that you have become part of our kingdom and your dna will change and when it change all that you inherited from your forefathers will run away you don't need family deliverance because why you are praying they are asking for deliverance some people in that family they are not interested in that prayer you are doing he's busy doing his nightclubs something he's busy drinking his beer and whatever smoking on him he is busy doing whatever he thinks that is good for him joshua said choose you this day whom you shall serve say i and my household we have chosen it was a decision we are choosing to serve the lord and god almighty says i set before you life and death darkness and light he said choose life and choose light if you say you are choosing darkness he can't force you god doesn't force people to serve him that's what he must know he doesn't break our way god has a way and we have where we were created in his image and in his likeness so we resemble god for that reason he doesn't force us or push us to do something that's why i said even if you refuse to serve me don't want to serve me say out of this stone i will raise up people who will serve me and worship me so he is not gonna force you to worship him god is gonna force you to give him something he can get everything he needs for himself do you know what god says he said if i'm hungry i will tell you if i need food to eat i will ask you to give me food because i can provide for myself i can provide for myself that is why you know some ignorant fools think when they are in the house of god they are helping god you can't help god you are too small you need god god doesn't need you for anything you need him and you will always need him but if you think you can help yourself you are making a big mistake you can't help yourself he's our helper you can't provide your needs for yourself the bible says he's our great provider he is the one who provides our needs you can't provide your needs for yourself you don't have what it takes to make you somebody god is the one who has the power to make you all right so this has been the problem of god's people today they don't want to serve god they don't want to become a born again become a born again stop saying i'm a believer stop saying i'm a, a child of god stop saying i'm a christian start calling yourself a born again it will give you a sense of responsibility it will renew your mind it will make you know that there are things you must do to show that you are born again there are places i can't go i, I mean i find myself in the midst of some people it's as if i'm about to lose my life not that they are going to hurt me but it's like strange place like somebody like me if you carry me to a secret court gathering you know that something is gonna happen there because light and darkness can never agree <laughs> is either they bring me down or i bring them that they cannot bring me down because i belong to the kingdom of light light is stronger than darkness light doesn't lose battle darkness can never defeat light it has never been recorded it will never happen lights will always be stronger than darkness when light appears darkness disappears when light comes darkness flees darkness run away from light you see that's why the Bible says those who practice wickedness, they are afraid of the light. That's why a lot of people don't come to church like Messi Grand. Because they think they'll be exposed. You know, some of them are doing a lot of evil, practicing evil, occultic, ritualists, phone one miners, criminals. They don't want to hear the truth. Smokers, drug addicts who don't want to repent, they can't stay in this ministry. I'm telling you for a long time. Because I am not ready. To accommodate an evil man or evil woman who doesn't want to change i preach a raw message raw truth so evil person can like me if you see anyone who love me the person is good <laughs> you get my point if you see anyone who loves me with the kind of message i preach ah huh, you will say love me that person is good <laughs> evil person cannot love me because I will hit you below your belt. My messages will hit you below your belt to put you 
and make you a child of God in spirit and in truth. And if you are not willing to serve God, you have no place in me. Jesus said, if you are not with me, you are against me. Listen, if you are not with us, you are against us. In this kingdom, we belong. If you are not with us, we are against us. So we have come. Jesus said, occupy till I come. We have come to do the will of Jesus. Only in his way, not the will of man. Not the will of any man. Doesn't matter who you think you are. We are too small to help God. We are too small to stand against the movements of God. That's why we preach it the way it is. All that practice iniquity must flee from it. All the prostitutes, all the robbers, foreign manners, criminals, those who say cocaine, those who smoke cocaine, those who smoke India and must repent. Because there will no place for them in a kingdom that we belong. They need to change, they need to repent so that your problem will be over. Jesus is calling you. Stop deceiving yourself. The book of James says, don't be a hearer of the word, but a doer. Every day you go to church, are you changing? Are you born again? Do you wish to be born again? He said, be doer of the word of God. Not hearer only, deceiving yourself. You will hear, you don't want to do. Change, you will not change. You will remain the same. Every year, every month, every week, you have no change. You are still living the life that is personable no one sees you and call you a child of god because of the life you live you go to club you drink beer you drink kai kai which one again you used to drink you know the things you drink now name them you are the one drinking it you smoke a matter of nonsense and tomorrow you say hey, god is wicked god didn't help me why will god help you when you are still in darkness say come to the light where we are so that you enjoy your life you refuse you don't want you want to dwell in darkness are you okay with the state of your life it's not about how you may have big money but you see you you are going to die very 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 soon because without christ there will be crisis in your life you are not sure of tomorrow all the money you are gathering now for your children tomorrow your children may use it to smoke in their hand drink beer because that is the life you live the bible says train up a child the way it should go so that when he's old he will not depart from it if you're not a child of god how can you train your children to be children of god how can you train them in the word of god when you are not a child of god you must become a child of god first before you can train your children to know who god is today i'm using this opportunity this is that period to let you know that you need christ stop living a fake life let me tell you you are faking it it doesn't matter what you think you have gained you are fake if you are not a born again you're a fake man you're a fake woman everything you have is fake your car is toy your house is toy you know toy those toys you buy for children how is toy? that your car is toy that your house is toy all the money in your account they are tissue paper you know tissue paper eh? the one you use when you go to the toilet you clean yourself tissue paper that is what you have in your bank account if you are not a born again because very soon you will discover that your money will fail you the bible recorded how money failed in egypt <laughs> money failed. the bible said money failed in egypt the time of joseph money failed because joseph had god he was the only one reigning he became a prime minister he was the only one supplying you will have money but you can't get anything to buy no time is coming because the world is becoming worse every day iniquity evil men have become more wicked than ever people are bringing new sin into the system the one they didn't commit it before they are not committing it homosexuality lesbianism have become normal in our world today evil the thing that made god to destroy sodom and Gomorrah, that's what they are doing they are legalizing it all over the world where do we go from here any moment from now jesus is coming hmm? even if you tarry you are not safe your soul is not safe listen to me even if you live for 120 years or 130 years in this world you will see how the place you will go and spend trillion of years my brother my sister are you joking with this matter anyone who tells there's no hair fire <laughs> or there's no heaven he's deceiving you can you spend trillion of years inside hair fire you go i will say give me three bottles of beer we are drinking he are swallowing chemical chemical every day you are drinking chemical you finish you carry two women three four five from one hotel to another from one beer palace to another from one guest house to another you are parading yourself you are deceiving yourself god said to me my son tell them the danger of their life because tomorrow you say you didn't hear from prophets prophet said they didn't tell you the truth i'll tell you it's my life even if you should give me money eh? you should dash you something and you're doing bad thing I will fire you. He said, my blood is very hot. I don't tell that nonsense. I'm a non-nonsense prophet. No go area. Raw. 
fire for fire moving train you block your touch you don't clear from the way the movement of god will level you just level you up because god wants to save the generation he may not save everybody but he's going to save some people be among those who save run to god run to christ become a born again today leave those ungodly friends the bible says evil come to a good manner don't be equally you could unbeliever that is what the bible says because they are the one deceiving you they're the one misleading you they're the one misinforming you they're the one changing you you change from a child of god to a child of Satan. there's a wonderful scripture i will read to you right now that will convince you that family deliverance will not change your situation it will not sustain the presence of god in your life and in your family you need to be born again and remain with christ luke 11 verse 24 to 26 says when an unclean spirit goes out of a man he goes through dry places seeking rest and finding none he says i will return to my house from which i came and when he comes he finds it swept and put in order then he goes and takes with him seven other spirits more wicked than himself and they enter and dwell there and the last state of that man is worse than the first look at this it says when the spirit is cast out of a man when you gather and pray say your deliverance the family demons will still return back they will still come back to check whether the people are born again or not so it's not about you gathering people and pray it's about the life the people live there's a kind of life that you live you will be attracting demons to yourself there are lifestyle that attract demons there are things people do that attract demons to themselves and there are things you do that makes demon to run away from you and that is when you become a born again after jesus he somebody he said go and sin no more or else worse thing will happen to you when you come to jesus and receive healing stay with him follow him serve him make him your lord so that that sickness will not return back if not it will return back and when it comes back the bible says when the demon is coming back to that person's body he will invite another seven wicked demon by himself and make the man case worse that means at that time they might even kill because they are now eight one plus another seven eight instead of one that was there so if you come back and meet the person born again he will not enter the family again if you see that the people are beginning to serve god he will go back to where jesus has sent him to whether uh, back to the river or where uh, forest he will go back to their kingdom and after one or two years or six months or two months or one month he will still come and check again demons are like dogs you know when you throw stone at, at a dog it will run after some time he will turn back and start coming again you throw stone at him he will run after you turn back he's coming back so you need to put pressure you need to throw and throw most to throw and pursue before he can so that means you need to follow jesus follow 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 then follow forever then pursue them more forever out of your life push it out of your life forever but if you throw one stone the layers on you cut demons out hmm demon will check after five days he come back and enter you I'm not going to go cast out again. That's why you see people, you cast out demons from one person. About ten times. In different occasions. Because demons keep returning back. You cast out demons. He will not serve God. You will not see him in the church. He will go out, go to nightclub, go out with the boyfriend, go with girlfriend. After three months, demons will enter. He will return back. You cast again. He goes out to go and drink beer. To go and live that kind of life. He will live when the demon was comfortable in his life and body and destroy him. He will return back because all those problems have come back because the demon have returned. He will come to God again. He receive again. The demon will he start sleeping well. No nightmare. No more sickness. After a few months, nightmare start again. Problem comes again because the demon is back. Now, I pray for you. That you will become a born again so you don't need to be calling somebody pray for me pray for me yes we pray when are you going to start praying for people i'm not a human being are you not a child of god when are you going to start praying for other people family deliverance everywhere they clap hands from morning to night from night to morning what changes have you seen in your family god changes the one who is willing i will give water to him who is thirsty god doesn't give water to everybody he gives water to the one who is thirsty 
ask, you shall be given. Until you ask, you will not receive it. So some people, why are you doing family living? Some people want to be free. Some don't want to be free. It's a personal thing. Carry your Bible. Hold on to God. Say no to some godly friends. Don't find yourself everywhere. Remain in God. Lock yourself inside and make a decision today that I want to follow God. That is why I used to tell people, whatever you are giving me that will make you to continue to practice iniquity, don't give it to me again. If you don't want to change, keep your gift for yourself. Keep your money for yourself. If you don't want to repent, eh, you can't follow me. I will send you away. Keep you out of my life. You don't want to change. You can't be my follower. No. If I discover what you are doing which is not right, I will tell you to. If you don't want to stop, you can't be my friend. You can't continue to tarnish my image. I'm a man of God and a man of truth. I'm a born again. Born again. Not I'm a born, born, born again. Put prophets aside. That is a calling God give Listen, I'm a born again. Eh? My DNA changed many years ago. I know when it changes. It's not about going to church. I was still committed in the house of God, but carry the same DNA. Carry the same DNA that uh, was inside me, the one I was born with. I was still carrying it. I was going to church every day until one day the thing changed. Why I was pushing. Say, God, only you I know. Jesus. I'm born again. I don't want friends again. I don't want anybody again. Only you, Jesus. Only you, Jesus. My Bible become my friend. Then my DNA changed. That was when everything about me turned around. No special prayer was made for me. Everything turned around automatically. Katosi. Grigidigidi. Brakatakataba. Bosot haya. You see, Rego Shekete Rego Sukiaba. You know what I'm saying now? What God did in my life, He will do in your life. It's Jesus. This is what Christ did in my life. He is going to do it in your own life. If only you can believe and do what I said. Wherever you are right now, this is water. No, I bless this water and it heals the sick all over the world. White people, black people, doesn't matter your color, doesn't matter your nationality. Your belief is your connection to the healing power of God. The woman of Israel blood said, If I can touch the garment of Christ, she said to herself, So if you say to yourself, that when I bless water for you, you'll be healed. It will happen. Except you don't believe. That's what you want to test. You want to test the power. You don't test it. You believe it. Don't try it. No, I want to try it. See. You, no, 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 no. You believe before. Jesus went to Nazareth. In Mark chapter 6 verse 5. The Bible says, He could not do mighty work because of their unbelief. You see? Unbelief is your problem. Part of your problem is unbelief. So, wherever you ask, you listen to this message. Drink water. Carry water and drink. And say it, I want to follow Christ. It may not make sense to you, but do what I said. Say, I want to follow Christ. I want to abandon my old friends. I want to live a different kind of life. I want to follow Jesus. I want to become a born again. I want my DNA to change. I'm tired of this problem. I'm tired of this sickness. I'm tired of this cancer. I'm tired of this HIV. I'm tired of this uh, ulcer. I'm tired of this diabetes. I'm tired. I want to be born again. That is all. I want to be born again. Promise God that I will remain in your kingdom. God will hear you. Promise him that, that I want to be born again. I don't want to I want to serve you, Jesus. I've been deceiving myself for this why. You know, my fear for you, my fear for you is how you end your life. It's not about how you start life, but how you end. If you end up a useless person, oh my God, when you have Christ, when Christ is available for all, you don't want to help yourself, or you end up in hell fire. My God, if you end up in hell fire, you will blame yourself. You have heard this gospel. The Bible says, Until the gospel will be preached to all nations and everybody who hear. Don't tell me you have not heard this gospel. You have been hearing. The Bible says, Jesus is calling. Don't harden your heart. He's calling you now. Don't harden your heart. You have had your heart for a long time. That your heart of stone that is stopping you from receiving the gospel of Christ. I pray that God will turn it into a heart of flesh. But you must be willing before God will perform that spiritual surgery. I call it spiritual surgery. When your heart <laughs> church, God will operate you spiritually and remove that your old heart and place new one, brand new heart, that spiritual surgery. There are no mark on you. This one is a theater of God, spiritual theater. So drink this water now. As I'm taking it, you drink your own. Carry water, drink. This is water. This water, the one you drink in your house, my water is a medium God gave me, you know. You know what water I have done. Water has saved so life, destroyed sickness, thousands. Germans, Americans, Europeans, Asia, they are calling and the water is healing them. Water is bringing people out of sick bed. I'm not the one doing this. This is Jesus. 
at work. If you believe, you will see the glory of God. Mm-hmm. Mary said to Jesus' disciples, "Say whatever my son asks you to do, do it to. Whatever he asks you to do, do it to. Because you discover that Jesus was not an ordinary man. Mm-hmm. But then, Kate, that uh, addiction, you smoke India him, you smoke weed, you smoke a cigarette, you smoke whatever you're smoking, eh? drinking alcoholic, then misbehaving here and there, disgracing yourself. Drink it now. That appetite to do evil will run away from your life. That's what we are doing here. So you are blessed. If you can come to me, we meet one on one. I will help you as uh, much as I can. Or it's the same thing I will tell you follow Christ. I'm not Christ. I'm a servant of God. I'm not Jesus. So don't call me Jesus. I'm a servant of God. Servant of Jesus. Follow Jesus. If you follow him, your problems will be over. If you follow Jesus Christ and leave all these men and women you are following, everything will be fine in your life. Your DNA will change. When your DNA change, you will become a new creature. You may be living in your family with your family members, but in the spirit, you don't belong there anymore because of a change of DNA. That's what happens to you when you become born again. And you continue to follow God. And you continue to read your Bible and do the work of Christ. You will be the only one doing well in that family. Even when people are going down, only you will be going up. Because you don't belong there anymore. That is what it means. Anyone who loves God has secured in destiny. Believe me. Any born again Christian you see anywhere. That's why I used to advise women. Those ladies that want to marry. Don't marry a man because he has money. Marry somebody who is a born again. Every born again Christian has secured this. You may think today you don't have nothing. Very soon you will see him. Things will change. Because in Christ, there is fullness of joy. There is blessing. There is joy. There is happiness. There is prosperity. That's everything. Peace, prosperity. There's something called peace, prosperity. You know, when you prosper and you have peace. So people can't be big money. You can see their life. Nothing shows that they might have money. The problem he, he has is even bigger than the money. He you think he is controlling. Money can do everything. Jesus is what you need now. If you have money, let Jesus be the one who will give you that money. If you have a car, let Jesus be the one who will give you that car. If you want to have your own house, let Jesus be the one to build a house for you. You want to go to school, let Jesus be the one to send you to school. Believe that it is Jesus that will do everything for you. Believe it. I know he will send somebody to do it, but he is the one doing it. And when he doing it, recognize him as the one doing it. Return all the glory to Christ. Don't give glory to anybody. Don't share God's glory with any man. It's a sin. All glory must be given back to the one who deserves it. Our God, Jesus of Nazareth, who died for you and I. God bless you. You want to be born again? Serve time in dear Jesus. Come into my life. Be my Lord and my personal Savior. Write my name in the book of life. Forgive all my sins. I'm tired of taking alcoholic drinks. I'm tired of drinking here and there. I'm tired of smoking. I'm tired of womanizing. I'm tired of committing adultery. I'm tired of fornication. I'm tired of wickedness. I'm tired. Save me, Lord. Save my soul. Save my spirit. Save my mortal body. Turn me into an obedient child. Help me, Lord, to become an obedient child. I don't want to disappoint you again, Lord. Help me, Father, in Jesus' name. Amen. You are blessed. It is well with you. We are sick, and you drink that water. Whenever you watch my message, drink water. Okay? As you are watching it, something will be entering you. That's what people are calling. People are calling and begin to talk about it. When they hear my voice, they say they feel something. Pastor from Germany wrote a letter last time to me. I said, after hearing your voice, I feel like God has spoken to me from heaven. I said, well, he said, there is something about your voice. I said, well, you say your voice, it echoes. He said, very rare. I said, I don't know what you're talking about. He said, after that day, my life had changed. I said to the man, you are spiritual. That's why you get this kind of results. You are spiritually minded. The Bible says to be carnally minded is dead. And to be spiritually minded is life everlasting. Be spiritually minded so that you have everlasting life. God bless you. You will hear from me again next Tuesday. Do ask the Lord. I've commanded you, become a born again today. Become a born again. Be proud to say, I am a born again. Be proud to say it anywhere you go that I am a born again Christian. I am a born again. I'm not just a Christian, but a born again. God bless you.